ass, man, because you know, I, I know life is like damn near like a repeating cycle, man. Like once you get get to doing something, it's like it just that one thing will chase you. And I know you did so many years in prison and went to so many state jails. Like how I never asked you how how was life, how is life now? Like after prison, how how um how has it been for you, man? Um. Uh how have you managed to stay out of trouble? I, I, I just want I want I just want to tell a lot of kids, man. When y'all come home, ain't nothing changed in this world but you. Right. That's no. That's one thing you gotta learn, man. When you come home, ain't nothing changed in this world from you, man. Tales from a crib. You guys, when y'all come home, man, a, a lot of y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a little intervention to help y'all stay home. You no, know, if you if you soak this piece of game in. Number one, I tell a lot of cats when you're on your way home. The ones that's coming home that's watching me, and the ones that just came home, the ones just got out. Right. The first thing I want you to know, when you when you coming home, the game that I was taught, leave prison in prison. That's that's number one. But what you mean when you say that though? Leave that attitude. The leave attitude. That, got leave you. that tough man shit. Gotcha. Leave that con and niggas out of shit. Leave leave that sneaky shit you do you been doing down there in there. While you been down there, leave prison in prison. Mentally, you dig what I'm saying? Uh, when you come home, it depends on how many bridges you didn't burn. That see, a lot of y'all niggas go home and uh, when y'all in there, you lose a lot of shit. You lose mama, daddy, your trip, everything. Yes, so, and you gotta come home to nothing. Some of you niggas got mama, family, and everything at her, and you still come home <laughs> to nothing because it's the bridges you burnt before you went in there. I burned every mother. I didn't have no bridge to cross back over. When I went to the penitentiary, everybody just knew that's where I lived. That last, my last round. Understand me, on. Um, I worked on not coming back. Right. I just didn't know how I was not going to come back. I worked on it. You know, nigga going there and go to school and go to Jubal and, and go to Tylene service and, and go to church and, and do all that trying to work on to be a better person when they come home. But when niggas come home, niggas find out ain't nothing changed, nigga. Ain't nothing changed that in this world but you. Right. You the change. Here we come. The world done changed. The world done changed. Yeah, you a little behind on technology. Right. But you're not behind on life. Because you can go to that same cone and see them same niggas out there talking about the same shit they was talking about before you went to the penitentiary. Ain't nothing changed. Them niggas still hanging in the same dope traps. Slanging the same dope. Still doing the same thing before you went to the penitentiary. Them niggas still sitting under that tree, barbecuing and eating uh 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 crackers and and, 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 and shit all motherfucking ain't nothing changed. But you, tell us from a crib man. When I came home, I came home to nothing. I had family out here, but I had fucked over more for my family, like some of you niggas did in the penitentiary before you went in there. Right, right, right. When I came home, niggas, I had been to prison in and out so many times that niggas thought ain't nothing changed about me. Person been coming home. Person, I, I didn't get, I didn't come home to a party, a welcome home party. Nigga, I didn't come home to, to, to socks and drawers and t-shirts and, and new pair of tennis shoes and shit. Nigga, I had to wear the same clown ass shit they gave me in Huntsville for about a couple of days. I said to myself, man, uh, people don't know that I went down there to work on myself, to change this time. But you know what? That goes with going and coming. Because I said that the last time. And I said that the time before the last time. And I said that the time before the last time before that. And I still ended up going right back. When I came home, man, I didn't have shit. I had lost my family, my kids, uh, house. Caught everything due to the time that I was in there. Because one thing you niggas need to know, nigga, just because you locked up, the person out here in the world ain't locked up with you. You can't lock the world up, nigga, because you locked up. Right, right, right. The, the world ain't going to stop because you locked up, nigga. Thanks. You dig what I'm saying? Uh. A lot of niggas do get that misunderstood, too. That You know what I'm saying? When you in, hey, when you in jail, bro, look, the world's still moving out there. Your girl, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Stop moving. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, man. I don't, damn, calls, do, I don't give a damn if you do get a visit every week, nigga. Yeah. I don't give a damn if you do get letters and cards and shit every week. Life ain't gonna change. She still gotta come home. 
she and, and take care of bills and work and make sure you taken care of. Well, you can go get your zuzus and wham whams and shit, nigga, from the commissary. Yeah. Uh, I came home, man, you know. It's one thing about coming home, man. This what's gonna fuck a lot of you young niggas up, or old niggas too, that come home. Within 24 hours, it's gonna be like you ain't never been locked up. Niggas come home and look at you like you ain't never been gone nowhere. You start saying to yourself, God damn, I, you know, within two weeks, you know, all the highs and the, and the hugs and the, I'm glad you're home shit. You gonna realize right then, life goes on. Just like dying. Yeah, life goes on just like dying. Because guess what? People gonna get back to the program after they stop by and see you and hug. They're not gonna stop and chill with you no two or three years because you been gone 10, 11 years. Now they gonna come see you for a couple of hours and happy that you home. And, and guess what, nigga? Realize that the world don't change. Ain't nothing changed, nigga, but you. Right. Depends on how much damage you done before you went. It's going to determine your walk of life when you do come home. I did a lot of damage before I went in. Uh, and I came home to nothing. See, the devil had already had a plan for me before I even got out. You dig what I'm saying? Right. But God did too. <laughs> we see who won that fight. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, when I came home, man, I had first thing on you niggas' mind. It's getting a job. Let me tell you niggas something. Even when some of you niggas come home and got family. I, I mean, I mean, it's, it's not in everybody's family. But I'm going to let y'all know family be the worst ones to put pressure on you when you come home. Is you you going to go look for a job today? Now, damn, I've been gone 27 years. I can't get a week out. You get out on Friday, they expect you to be on a job Monday. Family. Pressure. Pressure. Family puts so much pressure on you, you end up back in the same place you was in. Yeah. And it's not because you're trying to keep up with parole. It's because you're trying to impress family. Right. Fact. Fact. You got to find out when you come home, then nobody try to impress you when you were locked up. You ain't got shit to prove to none of these people out here. That go for mama, daddy, and anybody else. I had to learn that. Because if you let the ways of the world get you, you're going to end back up in there. I Man, I took off walking. I, I knew... You know, and I'm not blaming family, because like I said, I paid that picture before I went in there. Yeah. So I can't get mad at family if family don't want to keep making the same mistakes, you know, over and over again with me too. Because I keep making the same mistakes over and over again. I'm going to come home and do right. Well, let's get person, let's throw him apart, nigga, and then person gone next week. God damn. That nigga, what person he got locked back up? Well, all that we just did for him. And when they keep doing it, keep doing it. And he, they get burnt out too. Shit. This is like I came a, home and it was job time. Right. So I figured to myself, I, I see right now I'm going to have to get out here and get it on my own. I'm going to get out here and get it for my own. Got nothing. But I'm going to stay strong, y'all. I'm not going to drill. I'm not going to do I didn't get high in prison. I didn't smoke a cigarette or join or nothing the whole time I was locked up. So I know damn well I ain't got to do it out here. I worked the whole time I was locked up. When right. I ain't never had a job in my life. So I said, this time when I get out, I'm going to do that when I get out. I said to myself in prison, yeah, if I can work in here like this and don't get nothing, I know I can go out there and work and get something. I took out walking early that, month, that morning, man. I took out walking. I, I got down Lancaster, at the end of Lancaster in Sandy Lane. And I walked from Sandy Lane all the way down to the 7-Eleven on Lancaster. Signing applications, filling out applications, walking, doing it the old school way. I didn't know nothing about you can go online and. Now nah, I did it, but I did it on my own. I couldn't find no job. Weeks went by, a month or two had went by. I ain't done nothing due to my background check. When you've you been to prison five times, you know they say you got a an X on your back. They talking about one. Yeah. <laughs> they talking about one. Well, guess what? Yeah, I, my back look like a slave back. Fuck y'all talking about. I got a whole bunch of exes. Look like somebody beat me with a motherfucking whip or something. Yeah. My back X all the way up. Ain't no job when you don't get one with one X. 
Right, not even opportunity. See, and you got five, you got five on in state in, in prison. You got four more state jail exes. And ain't no telling how many county jail exes you got. Uh, and I got and I walked the street. I put in the footwork. And I said, man, you know, I, I'm finna go visit my dad. And I did so much footwork and interviews, and, and and nothing was shaking. And then one day, man, I was, I was, I, was, I went to West Texas to visit my daddy since I've been home. I said, I'm gonna go see my daddy. And I was down in West Texas. Middle of Odessa, man. I was down there, I went down on Friday, that Saturday morning, I got a call. And they said, Demerson, do you want to work? And I said, yes, sir. He said, well, how bad you want to work? I said, sir, I want to work real bad. He said, well, you willing to leave town? I said, yes, sir. He said, where have your job in Corpus Christi? Okay, where the fuck is that at? You know, I ain't never been nowhere, so Corpus Christi just sound like a long way. Right, right, right. You know? He said, we, we, need you here, uh, we need you here Sunday morning. We need you here Sunday, man. We're going to fill out all your paperwork and you'll be leaving that Monday. I jumped back on the goddamn highway. That's how bad I wanted it. Daddy, I love you. Miss you. Give me a hug. Uh, I got a job. Yeah. And I, I know I was going to spend the weekend with you, but I got to go. Immediately gone. I'm gone. And me and baby jumped back on the freeway and we took off. Right. And um, I got pulled over by the law. Right. I was, I was trying to get down here so fast the law pulled me and baby up. And um, the law walked up and he asked me, say, where you were worse to fire? And I said, I, I, what fire? He said, well, you're speeding somewhere. You're going to a fire, something, something burning. I said, no, sir. He said, give me your license. I said, I'll be damned. Just got out the penitentiary. I mean, I can The only violation I'm in the wrong is I don't have my, I don't have, I have restricted license. They didn't take the drug charges off my license and, and give me, you know, pardon on my license. So I said, my license was restricted. And so he ran, they said, you know, you got to, he said, where you going? I said, I just got out of prison, man. He said, hey, I can look and tell. He said, where you going? I said, I got me a job, sir, and I'm trying to get to it. It's way lower, and I got to go way back to Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm trying to get there and get to this interview. And I got to get clothes, I got to get packed, and I got to be ready to leave morning. He said, well, you know, I'm going to stay true. I can't let you drive off with restricted license. Do you have any license, ma'am? She said, no. I'm like, ah, damn, come on, man. Then a man, I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't give a damn if they uniform or not. They know real when they see it. Right. They know real when they see it. Shout out to that trooper, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to that trooper, trooper man. <laughs> because, you know, you, know you, can't, you can't judge everything in the uniform. You know what I'm saying? As long as you clean. You did what I'm saying? And, uh, that trooper said, well, you know what? I can't let y'all ride off like that. He said, but all I can do is I can drive off. <laughs> Understand me? And, 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 and y'all wait till y'all don't see me no more and y'all don't get up out of here. I told the officer, thank you. And he let me go. And I went and got that job, man. And, and I worked. They shot me the Corpus Christmas. I worked in the oil fields, drilling for oil lines, yeah. uh, drilling for gas in oil lines. You know what I'm saying? I was making good. I, I, it was on. I learned how to play chess. No, that was a major move on the chess board. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a nigga in check. They got to get me out of check. They got to get out of check on. You have to stay strong minded man when you come home, young niggas. The only way to survive is out here is to keep your mind intact, man. Don't lose your mind out here. Nigga come out here and try these new drugs. You ain't been getting high. You ain't been smoking cigarettes. Now I see every time they got to put attention, they need a cigarette. But for what? You ain't been smoking square. Unless you ain't there doing it. Shout out to Huntsville Bird Unit, man. The release unit. When they let you out that goddamn door, man, I'ma tell you something. You can tell who coming back right. when they walk out them door when they free you, man. <laughs> Why you say that? They let you out this door, man, and uh, you go through the process and everybody got their clothes open and, and you got that one door to walk through. Everybody know if you've been to, yeah, you know, bird unit, you know, free unit, the, you're going home. This is it. They dress you out, you got on free world clothes now. You're looking at yourself. You got your little bag in your hand. You got your little check in your hand to go with you. Down the street is the store. The drug addicts. The drug dealers. The, the, the dope. The, 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 the drinks. Whatever you ain't been having is, is right down the street. They're going to escort you off the premise and tell you go to the bus station. Or, or Some people got fair. Some people come home and you can see their family running up. To, hey, hey. And you, you know you're left behind when don't nobody come get you. You know, you can tell who got a support team. When you walk out of Huntsville, half people family sitting out there waiting on them. 
open hands hollering and scream, Mijo, Mijo, yo, the new, uh, uh, crying and snotting, but you gotta keep the journey. Stay focused, you free. Keep your head up and chest up, chest up and head up, man. Chest out and head up and keep walking. Went down there, man, to that bus stop, got me a press slides, man. Yeah. Y'all don't worry about this. Yeah. You need to know this shit. Ready? Go. Yeah. Yeah, nigga got me a press. Y'all remember these? <laughs> you know, you walk down there, you know, you know, you don't got no regular shoes, so you, you buy your press slides or something. They got these right there. They got yeah. the red ones, the black ones. You get your slides, man, you, you know, you get a chance to see how you gonna spend your money. Right. Wisely or foolishly. You see some niggas going on, say, we got sons down here, man. You know, you got niggas out there. You got you, you. You actually got niggas out there, demons and devils out there, telling you come this way, go that way. We got it over. Y'all smoking? Need some weed? Drink? Dope? Pills? Whatever? You know. And some niggas get out there and spend their check on shit and can't even get from out of Huntsville. You'd be surprised. Some niggas get out there and get drunk in Huntsville. Don't even get. Don't even leave out the city. Fresh out the penitentiary. Yeah. You can tell the ones that's on their way back. And you can tell the one that's gonna struggle to stay out that motherfucker. I don't want shit. I didn't want shit in prison. I don't want a nigga to talk to me. Don't say a motherfucking thing to me, civilian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a convict. Feel like I'm straight out the military. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't say nothing to me. And I, and I kept that attitude. I came home with it. And I stayed cocky with it. And it, and it helped me stay out for a long time. I've been home 10 years now, man. So for all y'all that's coming home, man, just know, man, the world don't change. The only thing that changed out here is you, man. Stay strong. Keep your mind. The only, only way you can help somebody else is if you help yourself. Tell us from a crib, man. Balls.